Howdy, folks. Welcome to the mountains. I'm Blackberry Bear. You can call me Blackberry. I'm named after my favorite food. I'll be your guide to all the fun and exciting things you can do here in the high country. We'll be showing you places you can hike, swim, boat, ride, golf, shop, dine, and party. We'll be showing you scenic viewpoints, waterfalls, and other hidden treasures. We want you to relax, enjoy yourself, and have a safe and fun visit you'll always remember. One of the first things visitors need to remember is to slow down. You're not in the city anymore, so relax. Take a deep breath of mountain air and let yourself adjust to our laid back way of life. Take your time, take it easy. You've gotta be neighborly, make some conversation, talk about the weather, the crops, pass some time. You'll be glad you did. We're a growing community, but we still believe in good old time Southern hospitality. <sighs> this area is famous for its many beautiful waterfalls. There are three easily accessible waterfalls along Highway 64, driving west out of Highlands towards Franklin. Here's Bridal Veil Falls, just outside of Highlands. Highway 64 used to go under these falls. Next is Dry Falls, one mile past Bridal Veil on the left-hand side. These falls are called dry because you can walk under them and not get wet, at least some of the time. When the river's high, you'll get soaked and deafened by the thunderous roar of big water. But it's an experience of Mother Nature's power you won't want to miss. Here's what it looks like from behind the falls when the water's low. This cascade is affectionately known as Bust Your Butt because you can slide down the rocks. But if you're not careful, you can, well, you know. It's a very popular spot in the summer for swimming, sliding, and jumping off the cliffs. Another few miles and you'll come to Colossage Falls, over 250 feet high. The pull-offs are only on the left-hand side of the road and are very narrow, so use caution. The best spot to view the entire falls is right at the pull-off. Glen Falls is actually a set of three waterfalls, connected by a steep but lovely National Forest Trail, just three miles out of Highlands on Highway 106. At the first waterfall, the trail goes right up to the very edge of the falls, and you get a beautiful view of Blue Valley and the river spilling down below. Silver Run Falls is an easy walk off Highway 107, 4.2 miles south of Cashers. There's no sign, so set your odometer and watch for a pull-off on the left with a power pole. Sliding Rock is a really fun place for the whole family. Located on Whiteside Cove Road between Highlands and Cashers, this is a good spot for picnicking, sunning, swimming, and of course, sliding down the rock. Be careful you don't bust your butt here. Secret Falls in Horse Cove has some upper and lower falls. There's lots of pools for swimming and fishing. You'll definitely want to bring your bathing suit to Rainbow Falls, located about 10 miles east of Cashers. This beautiful waterfall has a large pool at its base for swimming. The hike to this waterfall is a moderate one mile round trip, and on the way you'll pass Turtleback Falls, which is also perfect for swimming and sliding. Whitewater Falls, at 411 feet, 
is the highest waterfall in the eastern United States. And it's one of the easiest in the area to get to. A short paved trail from the paved parking lot takes you to the very best viewing spots. A pleasant 20 minute drive from Cashers. There are plenty of other beautiful waterfalls in this area. This is Courthouse Falls, near the Blue Ridge Parkway, one of Blackberry's favorites. This is another waterfall with a lovely pool at the base for swimming. Remember to always exercise caution around waterfalls. Avoid climbing or going anywhere close to the head of the falls, as the rocks are very slippery, even when dry. One slip can have very serious consequences, so enjoy our falls from a safe viewpoint. And now for some fun hiking. Blackberry likes to hike because it helps keep his weight down. The views are always spectacular, and Blackberry always keeps a lookout for blackberry bushes. You often meet nice people along the way. There are countless hikes you can take here in the high country. I suggest you get a map from one of the outfitters like Highland Hiker. Hopefully you, unlike Blackberry, can actually read, because I can't make heads or tails of this cotton picking thing. The Nantahala Hiking Club organizes hikes every weekend, led by different members of the club to different destinations. Visitors are always welcome. Look in the local newspaper for this week's hike or visit their website, makingweb.com NHC. Whiteside Mountain is one of the most popular hikes. From the parking area, you'll climb a few steps, turn left, then you'll see this fork. Take the old road to the left. It's a moderate two mile loop returning down the backside of the mountain. Whiteside features spectacular views 2,100 feet above the valley floor. Whiteside Mountain has the highest sheer cliffs in the eastern United States, 750 feet. During the spring and summer, watch for peregrine falcons soaring along the cliffs. Here's the summit, 4,930 feet. Panthertown Valley has been called the Yosemite of the Southeast, a large flat valley surrounded by mountains with sheer cliffs and spectacular granite domes. Northeast of Cashers, I like Panthertown because the trails aren't crowded. There are 6,700 acres to roam, which I appreciate because somebody my size needs plenty of room. There are lots of waterfalls. This one is Warden's Falls. This is Schoolhouse Falls. The last of the Mohicans filmed the scene here behind the waterfall. I played a bit part as a bearskin rug. This is Granny Burl's Falls. There are many small falls all along the river to discover. The trails are not marked, so be sure to get a map. The only one currently available is sold at Highland Hiker. Scaly Mountain is another favorite hike, close to Highlands and part of the famous Bartram Trail. This hike features impressive views and large rock outcroppings.
Sunset Rock is a large rock outcropping with an excellent view of Highlands. Park opposite the Highlands Nature Center. It's a half mile hike. At the top, go to the right for Sunset Rock, so named because it's a great place to watch the sunset. Go left for Sunrise Rock, with a beautiful view to the east of Horse Cove and Whiteside Mountain. Satula Mountain towers high above Highlands. The summit was protected by the citizens of Highlands way back in 1909, and is now owned by the Highlands Cashers Land Trust. To reach the top, you need to hike up Satula Road, which begins here at the end of 4th Street. It's a long climb, but the views on top are spectacular. Both Highlands and Cashers have short trails right in town. The Kelsey Trail used to run between Highlands and Whiteside Mountain, and the first three-quarter mile of the trail still exists. The trailhead is here at the end of 5th Street, and a walk along the trail is surprisingly peaceful. Cashers has a lovely village green with nature walk, and a great playground for the kiddies, and picnic tables. I love it when people picnic. Mm-mm. It all looks so good, I don't know where to start. There's plenty of beauty to be seen just driving around. Don't miss our spectacular overlooks. Here's Whiteside Overlook on Highway 64 between Highlands and Cashers. This is a great place to see the cliff faces of Whiteside. In mid-October at sunset, you can see my shadow. Blue Valley Overlook is special because it overlooks an increasingly rare expanse of wilderness just five miles south of Highlands on 106. It's beautiful at all times of the year. Satula Mountain Overlook offers views of Satula Mountain, Satula Falls, and Blue Valley just five minutes south of Highlands on Highway 28. Everybody likes to have their picture taken with Blackberry at the Overlooks. Lots of folks come to the mountains for our fine fishing. Our rivers and streams are brimming with trout. Take it from Blackberry. Here's a beauty I caught just last week that a friend helped me land. Fishing is also popular at many of our lakes, including Cliffside. Cliffside Lake Recreation Area, just four miles west of Highlands on Highway 64, is a lovely place for fishing, swimming, hiking, and picnicking. Ben Hook Glade National Forest Campground is right next door. 